Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. I got Claude here. He's got a beautiful 1932 five window. Uh, he's gonna tell us a little bit about it. Man, you stuffed a Hemi in there, huh? Yeah, it's a 32 five window with a Hemi. Absolutely, uh -huh. I had to have a Hemi. I used to drive a top fuel car back in the day. So. Wow. How old are you now? 84. 84. Good for you. And this is my second 32. I had one in 1955 when I was in high school. <laughs> beautiful car. Love the paint. Red interior, it's like my favorite color combination. Yeah, it's a 56, 354 cubic inch Jack Merkel, Merkel racing engines, it all machine work. He's great, that guy. Really knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's a he's an old timer. That's why his son's running it now. Mm -hmm. It has a great stance to it. Sitting on the steel wheels. Yes, yeah, steel wheels, wings. nine inch Ford rear, mm -hmm. 350 ratio. Hand painted stripe. Who did that? Who did the stripe? The stripes are on the car when I bought it. Okay. Somebody up, upstate. It came from upstate. Man, love that license plate too. Got the plate brand new, right? Yeah, they're, they're brand new license plates. They were in an envelope from the Motor Vehicle Bureau since 1932. I got them about 10 years ago. Huh. Man, what a find. Got a trunk in the back, it's not a rumble seat. Yeah, trunk, not a rumble seat. Mm -hmm. Batteries in the trunk behind the seat. And there's a master cutoff switch on the battery. It's all steel? No, all fiberglass steel. The steel is not in this good. It's a new H Motors Ford body. They built it in Connecticut. It's got a lot of steel framework in it. So it's pretty solid. Yeah, it's one of the best bodies. One of my friends told me it's one of the few they make with the drip rail. It is. That if you're going to build a car, that's what you want to get. It really is. Man, what a pretty car. What are the headlights up front? You know I'm not from? sure. I got them from Speedway Motors. Okay. And most of the accessory, accessories on the engine are from Hotheads. Oh, Hotheads They is make great. all this stuff for early Hemis. Man. And this stuff fits. Batman. It's amazing. Nothing. You have to, have to file anything, cut anything, yeah. glue anything. It just plain old fits. Really nice. Those uh, headman headers in there? Yeah, I believe they're headman. Yeah. Super nice. Yeah, that's a hot head. Hot heads. It's their own intake manifold. That's really rare. Is that a Edelbrock 650? It's an Edelbrock. I'm not sure what the. Mm. I think it's a 650. But oh, you got rack and pinion. Yeah, rack and pinion steering. It has electric power steering. Oh, that's cool. It's under the dash then. So it's inside. It's inside the dash. You don't have all the extra brackets and belts and hoses. Yeah, really makes it nice. It cleans up the motor compartment as well. Uh, aluminum catch can. That's pretty cool. Love the interior. Very cool. And it's got a rubber chicken. <laughs> got to have the chicken. Well, I actually live on Sesame Street. So oh, you do? <laughs> that's, that's my real address, Sesame Street. Oh, my God. That's great. I mean, Fozzie Bear had a rubber chicken. Why not me? Why not? And whoever did this stripe did a really nice job. 48 Chevy tail light. Regular filament or are they LED? No, regular. Cool. So you got rack and pinion steering up front too? Yeah, rack and pinion. It's a flaming river steering unit. So it's tilt. Man, gorgeous street body too, wow. And the power steering, it's an EPAS, E-P-A-S unit from Florida. Yeah, a lot of guys put those on C1 Corvettes. It's a really nice unit. I love this wood steering wheel too. It's beautiful. Dolphin gauges? Yeah, dolphin gauges. The seat was just not reupholstered but restuffed because the foam was going bad. Yeah. And it's all new carpet front to back. Wow. So vinyl seat, vinyl door panels. All vinyl. All vinyl. It wears well. Dolphin gauges. Very cool. Man, what a pretty car. Very nicely done. 
you know? Not many miles on the Resto, huh? Oh wow, 12,687 miles on the Resto. That's great. Oh, and you got heat too. Yeah, it's a vintage air heating air. unit. Oh, a little radio, is that Cirrus? What is that? Oh, it's a CD changer. Or is that AM? No, it's a, it's, a, it's a radio. Oh, that's cool, nicely hidden. But I never use it because you can't hear anything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got a nice hot rod when that happens. Man, this Hemi is stuffed in here. I oh, see so you got the mini starter too that's all wrapped and heat wrap. There's your rack and pinion steering with uh, chrome fittings. So, aluminum radiator or regular? No, it's a regular, it's a walker. Grass walker. Radiator. Okay. Hothead. Very nice. It's an interesting unit. Is that uh, electronic ignition? No, a real vertex magneto. Wow. Genuine. I haven't seen one of those since Hershey 20 years ago. Well, they make distributors that look like a vertex. I had one and it crapped out on the way to a car show. Yeah. So I sent it back to Joe Hunt. Yeah. And it didn't even make it out of the garage. <laughs> so then I called and said, how much can I get a magneto for? Yeah. And he gave me a trade-in on my distributor and I got a real magneto. Perfect. Really looks nice too. Is the front windshield open? It's uh, silicone shut, but it could be if you don't. Okay. It's nice with this. It's nice with your eye in there, you know? Yeah, it keeps it. These headlamps are cool, really. Uh... Yeah, I don't know what, what they were. I got up the speedway motors. Yeah, I like with the. Copy of the old guide lamps. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's got the indicators up top, too. Yeah. It's pretty yeah. cool. Let's fire this thing up. This Hemi sounds so nice. For a quick ride down the runway? Yeah, okay. Let's go. Well, I guess I don't need it for this. Yeah, we're not going very far. It's a turbo 350? Yeah. It's a low car shifter. Got some juice.
Well guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Uh, feel free to give me a call. I'm at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. That's uh, weebyautos.com. Thanks a lot.